Hi, I'm Scott with Craig. Today I have some tips on using pocket hole screws in pocket hole joints. The first common mistake I see made is people using an impact driver to drive pocket hole screws. The issue with this is that it can cause the pocket hole screws to be overdriven through the workpiece. Most drills have what is called a clutch setting. This will disengage the driving action when the drill encounters some level of resistance. A high clutch setting will stop the drill when it feels a pretty substantial resistance, while a lower setting will stop the drill when it encounters a much lower resistance. For pocket holes, I recommend setting the drill on a lower setting so the drill won't overdrive the screw. Next up is screw selection. For softwoods and plywoods, use a coarse thread pocket hole screw, and with hardwoods, use a fine thread screw to prevent the wood from splitting. With your screw selected and your drill set up, now we need to secure the joint. There are several ways to do this. With a flat joint, like a face frame or a panel joint, we use a face frame clamp to ensure that both faces are flush with one another. For a 90 degree joint, I like to use Craig's 90 degree clamp. This ensures the joint is held together where I want it while I drive my screws. As you're driving the screw in, I recommend going at a slow and steady pace. And make sure to keep your drill angled up closely to the material so that the bit doesn't slip out of the screw head. And just like that, you have a pocket hole joint. I love pocket holes for their strength, their speed, and their simplicity in all kinds of applications.